This week in Nerf, we've got new darts, new katana mag adapters, and an awesome raffle. I'm Jangular, and every Saturday, this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. Jumping right on in, uh, Dart Zone has released a new type of dart, and this is their Sure Shot darts. They are similar to the uh, Kinex waffle style, but these are a brick-headed design that somewhat takes after some of the aftermarket darts that we've been seeing, and both uh, Not Quite Nerf and Buff Daddy Nerf have posted articles talking about their experiences with these darts, which I will of course link to down below if you want to read their thoughts in full since they've done the testing. But it is really cool to me to see a, uh, a company producing darts that are more accurate and more geared towards that outside of just Hasbro trying to do that. And these are retailing for $15 for 100 which, of course, for those of us in the community that know about aftermarket darts, these aren't that big of a steal. But for those people that are just getting into the hobby and just understand that their blasters can do more and darts actually affect how their blasters perform, these can be a great option and can really open up the minds of people to understand that your Nerf blaster can actually hit the thing you're aiming at, which is phenomenal and something fantastic for people to kind of understand and hit that realization. So I think these are a great option for those that are looking for something off the shelf or if you're on, way, on your way to a game and you forgot your darts and you need to grab some or you had to travel and you're going to an event, you can go to a store that would have these and pick them up and have a not half bad option. Uh, I, I was pretty impressed from what I was reading. I'm not going to put my judgment on these yet until I actually get to use them, but from what I've read so far, they seem like a very solid offering. So I'm pretty pleased about that, and I hope that Dart Zone and other companies continue to move towards this accuracy trend that we're seeing, and we get even better and better darts as time goes on. Um, these are a bit shorter dart heads than other darts, as well as shorter stems, uh, whether or not that attributes anything to their accuracy or if it is in the head design. I'm not the scientist, but I do like when things perform well, and these seem to perform well. So again, for those of us well ingrained into the hobby, we're probably not going to be buying a ton of these because they're not going to be uh, as affordable as AccuFakes or Waffles or things like that. But again, great for entry-level people or people that are just getting into the hobby or just starting to understand and go to games. Uh, also, maybe great for HVZ players that are more casual and maybe aren't investing as heavily into these things. So that's my thought on them. I'm glad they're around. I'm glad we're seeing more and more uh, from these blaster companies. So to me, it just says they're paying attention and that's a good thing for all of us. Moving on, we have new Katana Mag flywheel adapters from both Open Flywheel Project and Tungsten. Uh, these are both versions that should work in the Strife and the Rapid Strike, if I am not mistaken. And for Open Flywheel Project, this is their version 2, uh, which changes things up. Now, both of these designs move the mag placement further forward and closer to the flywheels than uh, you would have with the standard Katana Mag adapter or the V1 of the OFP flywheel adapter for the Katana Mags. Now because of that they may not work as well with things like the Morpheus the guides that stick out further uh, because of the way the Katana Mag lips are that may cause issues to so just be aware if you're looking into these things. Something I do love is that both of them are freely available whether it's through Tungsten's Thingiverse or Open Flywheel Project's uh, Google Drive page where you can download these files and print them for yourself or have a friend or someone else print them for you. And I think that is just so, so cool. Something I really just want to mention about the uh, Tungsten version that I thought was really, really cool, and that is because they are going to be freely available to everyone, uh, they went ahead and designed it without a spring in use so that you don't have to source a spring that's the right size and everything, or they don't have to stock them to send them out just to ship a little spring. So they designed it to use a, an AccuFake dart head that you pull out from a dart and stick it in, and that's your cushion spring, essentially, for the mag release of it. And I thought that was just a clever little design that I personally enjoyed. It was a nice little touch, 
and a nod to the fact that not everyone may have access to a whole bunch of little return springs. So that's something a little neat and, and kind of fun in my mind that I thought was worth sharing. But uh, both of these are cool designs and I'm glad they are both available because you know I like options and these are more options for flywheel blasters that want to use short darts and the katana mag system. So I am looking forward to testing these out. Hopefully I'll be able to do so in the near future because these are just awesome. Uh, I love it. I love that they're available and I love that our community is continuing to innovate and try and make things more accessible for everyone. So check those out. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, there is a raffle going on. I'm not hosti ho hosting the raffle. The Atomic Dart League is hosting this raffle. Uh, and this is a raffle through Project FDL and TK1138, who are the creators of the Atomic Dart League, which is Atlanta-based uh, 5v5 league that is starting up. The important thing here is they are raffling off an FDL2X fully customized per the winner's desires uh, for five dollars per raffle ticket and that is awesome they've already sold over a hundred tickets which put them up to adding the 2v kit uh, accessory kit to this and once they hit uh, 200 tickets which i'm sure will happen pretty quickly uh, they will upgrade it to include custom plates on the side or hydro dipping, I believe. Uh, all the details will be in the link down below. Basically, I just wanted to say that I love that they are doing this uh, a raffle. We talked about the Captain Slug giveaway of the Caliburn a while back. This is a, a, a very affordable raffle to help get a league kickstarted essentially get them going with funds so they can build their cover uh pay for the necessary things to provide the best experience they can for the teams playing in their league which is absolutely awesome you know i'm all about uh growing the competitive side of nerf and i love the atomic dart league is doing this and they're pushing hard and i think it is just absolutely awesome so if you want to support some nerfers and, and the growth of the hobby in their area and have a chance at winning a sweet fdl 2x uh, go check out the link. It'll be it'll be down below. It does end on May 24th, and they will do the drawing, I believe, live on May 25th. So go check that out. Drop five bucks in. Maybe win an FDL 2X if that interests you. Now let's move on to the mod of the week, and this comes to us from Mao Nakajima, and this is an Aurora paint job that is, oh, so good. So good. Uh, this is an Aurora base blaster from Blaster Forge, which uh, we've talked about before, I believe, either that or the Fenestrator. Either way, Blaster Forge does great aesthetic designs, and Mao has taken it to the next level, in my opinion, with this beautiful art on this blaster, and the way that they didn't cover completely the base color of the blaster, but instead added to it with some purple kind of accented across it to give it a nice gradient look. It's just, it's so sweet. And then the art on it is just fabulous. It's gorgeous. I love it. I saw this and instantly wished I had. Uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome. So really go check that out. I have a link, of course, as always, down below to that. So go check out Mao Nakajima's work. Uh, I believe he does do commissions. So check that out if you want some of this sweet, sweet work because, well, it's, it's just fabulous. So let's talk about the video of the week now. And this comes to us from Monkey Tron Collective. And this is the Grim Up, Grim Up Nerf Road Trip video. I, I liked this video because it was a nice third person view of a Nerf event in the UK. Uh, we've talked about actually a decent number of UK events recently, it seems like. And this is another one, an all ages one. So I like that we're mixing things up here. And I just enjoy seeing kind of the energy at a Nerf event and the fun and all of that stuff. And this, this I feel, captures it in a good, lighthearted way. And it was nice to get a perspective of the way people Nerf in various ways all over the world. So that's, that's really why I enjoyed this video and think you should check it out. Now, if there are any mods or videos that you think should be on this show, feel free to leave them down below in the links. Last week's Mod of the Week was a suggestion from you down below in the comments, so uh, keep it up. I love seeing things that I maybe I've missed. It's always awesome. And if you want to get your name on the screen down below like you saw earlier, uh, 
head over to Patreon. If you want to support the show for even just one dollar, that'll get your name down below and help us do even more on this channel. I am absolutely thankful and grateful. It has already blown me away the amount of support we've seen uh, so far on the Patreon, and I try to update as much as I can with things that are up and coming or behind the scenes, things like that, and keep in contact with all of the patrons. So check that out if that's interesting to you. But we are now at the end of the video, so click right over here if you would like to watch that video of the week, which I definitely think you should. If you want to see last week's episode, click over here. If you want to subscribe because you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, click right over here. Love to have you. Every Saturday morning we do Nerf news. We also do gameplay videos and reviews. And again, if you want to hit that Patreon up, it's right here for you. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.